Here we have Judy's swim. So nice and streamlined here. So we're working on a catch. So we want to always think when we extend in, we want our elbow straight. So that entry has to focus on having that elbow snap straight. It's not a shoulder push, it's just an elbow snap. So once we get there, we know we're going straight. We know we aren't moving into over rotation and that we have sort of a dagger board that's going to direct where we're going. Let's keep our momentum going in one area. So we notice that your left arm pops at the elbow so it's not as committed to going straight and then working on that catch trying to get that hand to move around and allow that elbow to stay there. Everything else is really nice and horizontal. So here we are in the final video. We've been working on this. So I can see the focus on the catch happening here. And you're really trying to keep the elbow straight. So it's really nice on the right. And then on the left, you can see that it still isn't quite aware of where that left hand is. but keep up the focus. There's some really good changes happening and the change takes time. It takes a lot of focus to keep going. So keep it as your primary focus. You're doing really well, Judy. Over the water, what we're focusing on is that high elbow recovery. So we wanna allow that hand to be passive and let the elbow do the movement. So the problem with this is most people have a tendency to use the hand to come around and use the elbow to pull back. So what we really want to do is use that elbow to bring the arm forward and use the hand to pull back under the water. So your entry here, elbows moving better on the right On the left here, still a little tight. So allow that arm to loosen up just a little bit more. Keep that fingertip drag focus, and that's gonna help you relax that left arm a little more. Right arm exit is really nice. And then that left arm, you sort of pull the elbow back onto the center line. So we should see that here in some over rotation happening. So you come in nicely and it stays straight. And then when you're going for air, the hand pops up to elevate your head for breathing. Here we can see that the hand on the left sneaks into the center line without knowing it because it just slightly arcs in. And there it is in the center again. So right off of Superman, you start just a little narrow in Superman. So that's a good time to think a distance that would help you get out of the pool. So not, not within your body line, but just outside your body line. Good work, Judy.